uh, let's talk about the cost of running Kubernetes. Uh, a new st study from cast.ai shows that in general, companies are wasting as much as 65% of their Kubernetes spend, uh, whether that's on public or private cloud. Though, of course, on private cloud, you do have a certain amount of fixed cost. Uh, a report on financial operations for Kubernetes from CNCF and the FinOps Foundation from last year found that 68% of respondents reported Kubernetes costs on the uptick, and most blamed it on a lack of tools to understand what was going on within their clusters. Now, only 27% of respondents had accurate showback or chargeback tools with 68% relying on estimates or just giving up entirely and saying, well, whatever, we, we just don't know. <laughs> uh, not that there aren't tools out there, there are a ton of them, but none of them has really kind of taken the lead. And this is what I'm thinking about. Uh, when we were talking about smaller tools. Uh, that may be changing, however. Uh, even in that study, uh, the most popular open source tool and second most popular overall behind uh, only AWS Cost Explorer, uh, which obviously has limited utility, was KubeCost, uh, an open source tool for monitoring what's going on in your cluster. Uh, now the company behind KubeCost has joined uh, other companies such as uh, AWS, Armory, D2IQ, Google, Adobe, Suze, uh, Mind Curve and New Relic to release the core of of Cube Cost as the brand new open cost project, which it has submitted to CNCF for governance. Uh, the premise behind open cost is to standardize reporting and analysis to enable companies to get a better understanding of what's going on in their clusters, so they can make changes and, of course, save money. Uh, according to the open cost GitHub repo, uh, which is available. Uh, it includes common sense features such as uh, real-time cost allocation by Kubernetes service, deployment, namespace, labels, stateful set, daemon set, uh, pod, and container. So broken down by all of the things that you would normally like to see. Uh, dynamic asset pricing enabled by integrations with AWS, Azure, uh, and GCP billing APIs. So as all of these companies change their prices up and down, you know, obviously you get real time um, cost. Uh, it supports on-prem Kubernetes clusters with custom pricing sheets. So, you know, obviously if you're not on public cloud, you're going to need that. Uh, allocation for in-cluster resources like CPU, GPU, memory, and persistent volumes. Allocation for AWS and GCP out of cluster resources like RDS instances and S3 buckets with a key, uh, and the ability to easily export pricing data to Prometheus with uh, a uh, with the uh, slash metrics endpoint. So. Uh, open cost is being distributed under the Apache 2 license and it's available right now. So you can easily install it in any Kubernetes cluster. So uh, if you are paying too much, it's partly your fault. So, <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself. You yeah. No one to blame but yourself. Don't be in that 27% or whatever that just said, eh. um, <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. 